and the ferryman woman. At a riverbank, there was a ferryman woman who transported passengers across the river. She was remarkably beautiful, with a lovely voice and graceful demeanor, perfect in every way. On this particular trip, among the regular passengers, there was a monk. When the boat reached the shore, the ferryman collected fares from everyone, and finally, it was the monk's turn. For the monk, she asked for double the usual fare. Surprised, the monk asked, why? The ferryman smiled and said, because you looked at me, so besides the boat fare, I'm also charging you for looking at me. The monk quietly paid and stepped ashore. Another day, the monk crossed the river again. This time, the same ferryman woman was there, and upon reaching the shore, she demanded triple the fare. The monk asked, why? She laughed and replied, this time you looked at me underwater, thinking I wouldn't notice, and you looked longer. The monk silently paid again and stepped ashore. On another occasion, the monk crossed the river once more. As soon as he stepped onto the boat, he closed his eyes and focused as if in meditation. When they reached the shore, the woman asked for five times the usual fare. The monk asked, why? She answered, you didn't look at me with your eyes, but you looked at me with your heart. Your mind was still thinking of me. The monk paid and walked away. After that, the monk became deeply devoted to his practice, meditating on the impermanence of the body, contemplating the decay of the physical form, and progressing rapidly in his spiritual efforts. He soon became disillusioned with the beauty of women. The next time the monk crossed the river, he calmly looked at the ferryman woman, just as he would look at anyone else without any bias or attachment. When they reached the shore, the monk smiled with a compassionate gaze and asked, how much? The ferryman replied, master, I will take you across the river for free. Surprised, the monk asked, why? She smiled and answered, you look at me, but no longer think of me. Your heart is free from attachment, so I will take you across without charge. This story beautifully reflects the journey of inner purification, where the monk, through his diligent practice, transcends attachment and desires. The fact that the monk willingly paid double, triple, and five times the fare as requested by the ferryman woman does not show weakness, but rather the courage to confront himself. Instead of denying or arguing, he chose silence, acknowledging that his heart was still unsettled. The monk did not attempt to make excuses or take advantage of the situation with the beautiful ferryman, but he opted for honesty and introspection. In the modern world, many people often choose to lie or avoid the truth to protect their image or hide their inner thoughts. However, accepting the truth, even if it reveals our weaknesses, is a path to growth. It is through the recognition and acceptance of our mistakes that we can change and evolve. In the story, the monk didn't just pay the woman, he also paid himself by gaining self-awareness of his inner struggles. This allowed him to gradually grow in mindfulness, freeing himself from illusions of beauty and overcoming the wavering of his mind. This offers a great lesson. Truth and honesty with oneself are the first steps to overcoming internal challenges and achieving peace of mind.